Hi there, I'm Matt from Logger and Ford. And on this nice, cold, snowy October day, we're going to talk a little bit about trucks. So the F-150 comes in seven different trim levels. This one I've got right here is the XL. It's your basic truck, work truck, great for hauling, towing, doesn't have a whole lot of extras on it. It's also the most affordable. So inside, it's manual seats. You get the 2.3 inch productivity screen up there. Auxiliary audio input, AM FM stereo. Now with the XL, you can do have the option of getting vinyl or carpet floors. Vinyl's really nice to clean. Now with the XL, normally you do get 17 inch steel rims. This is the sport package, so it's got these 17 inch aluminum, which look really nice. The color we have here is magma red, which when it's in the sun, you can really see the red and it kind of changes color depending on how you look at it. It's a really cool color. All right, so here is, we have the XLT. This is the most popular truck, the best seller. Standard features on this one are power driver's seat. Inside, you get the Sync 3 touchscreen. Ford Pass Connect with Wi-Fi hotspot so you can start, lock, unlock your truck from anywhere in the world using your phone. Wide variety of options for the XLT up to and including heated seats and remote start. Now this truck here has one of the options that you can get on any of the trim levels. It's a tailgate step. Pops out of here like this, you get this nice handle, makes it really easy to climb up in that bed. This one also has bed lights. So you got lights here in the bed. You know, you're working out here in the dark. Makes it really easy to find what you're looking for. Okay, so next on our list here is the Lariat. This is the first of the luxury trim levels. Comes standard with heated and cooled leather seats. It's got nice wood grain accents throughout. Standard with an eight inch touch screen, Sirius satellite radio, ambient lighting, power driver and passenger seats. This, you can get this with a center console or with the seat like this. So the next couple trim levels in the Ford lineup, we actually don't have examples of today, but we can always find them if you're interested. First is the King Ranch. It's got the trim exclusive exterior badges and the King Ranch interior, which is Java leather. Standard with heated rear seats, voice activated navigation, and Sirius XM travel and traffic. It also has a nice B&O premium sound system. Great sound system. The next one is a Platinum. Also has a trim exclusive chrome tailgate accent, premium leather interior, standard with massaging seats, power deploying running boards, 36 gallon fuel tank, twin panel moonroof. That goes all the way back to the back seats in a crew cab. Next, we'll move on to the Limited. All right, so here we have the Limited. It's one of the top trim levels of the F-150. Inside, we've got lots of leather, nice, it's a limited interior, per, exclusive to the limited. It's got the power deployable running boards, massaging seats. This also has Ford Co-Pilot 360 Assist, which gives you a 360 degree camera, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping, park assist, it has a formidable suite of off-road features. This has the th high output 3.5 liter EcoBoost, which so the Limited has these nice 22 inch rims. In back here, we've got dual exhaust and that nice chrome tailgate accent. Now we'll move on to the Raptor. All right, last but certainly not least, we have the Raptor. Now this is a purpose-built off-roader built from the ground up for Baja. Inside here, you can see we've got the exclusive Raptor seats and interior and that nice twin panel moonroof I talked about earlier. So the Raptor does have off-road skid plates and back here there's Fox live valve off-road suspension. As we come to the back, you can see that the Raptor has a smaller bumper profile than the normal trucks. That's so you don't catch it when you're rock crawling. It's got the nice dual exhaust for a great sound out of that 
high output 3.5 EcoBoost. All right, so now we're gonna talk about engine choices in the F-150s. This here is the standard 3.3 liter V6, 290 horsepower, 265 foot-pounds of torque. With the six-speed transmission, this can get up to 25 miles per gallon. Here we have the five liter V8 Coyote engine. It is the, it has 395 horsepower, 400 foot pounds of torque, 10 speed transmission in this one, gets up to 23 miles per gallon. Here we have the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost. This is a twin turbo, 325 horsepower, 400 foot pounds of torque, up to 26 miles per gallon. This is the standard in the XLT. All right, here we have the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost, 375 horsepower, 475 foot-pounds of torque. This is a twin turbo, properly equipped. This can tow up to 13,200 pounds. Crazy for a half ton. Uh, with the 10-speed transmission on this one, you can get up to 25 miles per gallon. This one here is the high output 3.5 EcoBoost, only available in limited and Raptor trim levels. It has 450 horsepower and 510 foot-pounds of torque. This thing is a beast. And last but certainly not least, we have the 3.0 V6 Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. This is new for the F-150s as of 2018. 250 horsepower, 440 foot-pounds of torque at 1750 RPMs. Really good low-end torque up to 30 miles per gallon. 30 miles per gallon in an F-150. You can now get this 3.0 power stroke in an XLT and up. Yeah. So in this part of the video, we're gonna go over some of the features that the F-150 can come with, such as blind spot monitoring, lane keeping, adaptive cruise control, and even active park assist. The first one we're gonna try and do is the blind spot monitoring. So there's a little light in the mirror that will come on when there's a vehicle in your blind spot. Let's see if we can catch up to someone. All right, so as this car passes me, there should be a yellow light that turns on in the mirror there. There it is. Now that lets us know that someone's in our blind spot and to not move over. Oh. <laughs> All right, so next we'll talk about adaptive cruise control. Now this does do normal cruise control as well. You'll have to change that in the settings if you want that. But with adaptive cruise control, we set our speed and then we actually set the length between the car in front of us that we want to maintain and it'll just follow that car. Even if they slow down, So that car in front of us is only doing 50, so that's what we're doing, even though our cruise is set higher. And now as they speed up, we'll start to speed up with them. And as they slow down, we'll slow down. Which is another way the truck will keep you safe, keep you from rear-ending someone if you lose attention for a second. All right, so now we're gonna show off the active park assist. And the F-150s, if they're equipped with it, can parallel park itself. The little button down here that you press, and then we wanna search on the left side, so we use our left blinker to tell the truck that that's where we wanna parallel park. We drive forward and it uses its radars to find a spot big enough. Once it finds a spot, it'll tell you when to stop. All right, so stop. Now we shift into reverse and we let the truck steer. We still have to work the, part, the gas and the brake, but the truck will steer itself and tell you what to do. And a parallel parked. Put it in park and it's done. With the F-150s, the 
backup camera is always going to be right here. This truck does have the 360 camera, so when we're backing up, it gives us a 360 view. Most, if the trucks don't have the 360 camera, it'll just be right, this one right here, but it'll be the whole screen. Now, all these F-150s with backup cameras have this some way to zoom in, and it zooms in right on where your hitch will be. So when you're backing up a trailer, or backing up to a trailer, you can line up that hitch perfect the first time without having to have someone guiding you. Great handy little tool. And then it does show where you will end up depending on where your steering wheel is. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or are interested in what I talked about today, feel free to give us a call at 218-744-4821. Visit us online at lundgrenford.com or stop on by just off Highway 53 in Eveleth.